Welcome to Willow's World of DIY. I'm Willow and today I'm going to show you guys how to replace the brakes on a Yamaha R6. Let's get to it. I start off by removing the safety wire. If your bike doesn't have, you know, if you're not safety wired, then you can just go ahead and remove the two caliper bolts. I'm using a 12 millimeter socket. I get a pan and set it on top of a milk crate just to be able to set the caliper in. Now I'm removing the two pin clips. They're just R clips. And then I remove the pin. I push down on the spring clip with my thumb and then I drop the two brake pads out of the bottom. You want to inspect the brake pads for any excessive wear or grooves. Now I'm using brake cleaner and a nylon brush to clean the caliper pistons. You want to make sure you clean these caliper pistons before you press them in, um, otherwise you might uh, press in the debris through your sills and create a leak. So make sure you clean your pistons before you press them in. And then I blow it off with the air compressor. Now I'm using a glass jar and some plastic tubing to be able to catch the brake fluid as it comes out. I loosen the bleeder. This is an 8mm. And I try to squeeze in these pistons by hand, but this one is too seized up to uh, be able to do it by hand. So I install the old uh, brake pads and then I get a flat blade screwdriver, a large one, and I stick it between them. And I don't pry back and forth, I just twist the screwdriver and that'll uh, compress the uh, pistons. Now that I have the pistons completely pressed in, I close the bleeder valve and just connect the tubing. I wipe down any spilt brake fluid and then I spray it with brake cleaner and then wipe that down as well. Now I'm cleaning the spring clip with a nylon brush and brake cleaner. And then I clean up the pin. Now I'm using calipers to measure my brake pad thickness. The wear limit on these front brake pads is 0.5 millimeters. So you need to have 0.5 millimeters of uh, brake pad material above the backing plate. Now I'm measuring the brake rotors. The wear limit on them are 4.5 millimeters. Mine are about right at five millimeters, maybe just a little bit under. Now I'm applying a little bit of brake grease on the pin. Now we'll take our new pads and install them into the brake caliper. Mine I'm just using my same old pads because they were within the wear limits. And then I install the brake pad spring clip and then the pin. Now I'm holding the brake pads up into the caliper with my fingers and I'm pushing down on the spring clip with my thumb. And now I'm installing the pin clips. You want to make sure when you install the pin that the hole is pointed upwards so you can have access to those holes with the clips. I'm installing the caliper onto the rotor. You want to make sure that your brake pads are spread apart and that the rotor goes in between the two brake pads. And then I install the 12 millimeter bolts.
Now I'm torquing the bleeder valve to 6 newton meters or about 55 inch pounds. And I torque the 12 millimeter uh, caliper bolts to 40 newton meters and that's 29 and a half foot pounds. Now I'm going to add some brake fluid. You want to turn your handlebars all the way to the left so, you, so your reservoir sits level. And then you remove the Phillips head screw on the hold, hold down clip and loosen the cap. I keep a rag close by so I can catch the, any brake fluid coming off of it. And I use Motul brake fluid. Uh, they have the best brake fluid in my opinion um, from what I found when I was racing and this is not sponsored this is just you know I really prefer Motul and I also prefer Motul oils in my motorcycles as well. I fill the reservoir and then I pump up the brakes to uh, you know get all that fluid pushed down into the calipers again and get the brakes set against the rotor. Make sure that you always pump the brakes back up before you take it on a test ride or anything. Now I'm going to show you how to bleed the brakes. This is a manual method. I just put the wrench on the bleeder, put my hose on, and then I pump up the brakes with one hand and until I get a firm feel. And then I squeeze the brake lever all the way to the bar, op open the valve, let it come all the way to the bar, close the valve, pump up the brakes again, and repeat that process. And then I torque the bleeder to 6 newton meters. I have a power bleeder, this Mighty Vac, and if you have one of these, this is my preferred method, and I get the absolute best brake feel uh, by using the power bleeder. In this method, you don't have to pump the brakes or anything. You just hook up the power bleeder hose onto the bleeder valve, open the bleeder, and let it suck it out. And I showed both the manual method and using the power bleeder in this video just because not everybody has a power bleeder or can afford a $150 bleeder. Um, so, you know, the manual method works just fine. And there's even cheaper handheld pump bleeders that you can use um, that work good too. Now we're going to move to the rear caliper. I'm cutting off my safety wire. Now I'm using a 6 millimeter Allen to remove the two caliper bolts. And I'm using an eight millimeter socket to remove this uh, brake line hose hold down. And now I can pull the caliper off and up above the exhaust. I set the brake caliper in a pan and I clean it with a nylon brush and brake cleaner. Then I remove the breather cap, install my 8mm wrench and my tubing onto the bleeder and open the valve. Once again I try to push these with my hands and it wasn't possible. So I remove the old brake pads, 
and I install them into the caliper and I use a flat blade screwdriver and I just twist and that will press the caliper pistons back in. And then you want to measure the brake pads. The wear limit on the rear brake pads is 0.8 millimeters above the uh, backing plate. So you need 0.8 millimeters of brake pad material above the backing plate. Now I'm measuring the rear brake rotor. Mine is 4.87. Your, your wear limit is 4.5 millimeters. So if it's below 4.5, you need to replace your rotors. Now I'm installing the new brake pads. There's a groove on each side of the brake pad that these need to slide into. It fits in real easy. And then your brake caliper will slide right over the brake pads and you can install the six millimeter Allen bolts. Now I'm removing the rear brake reservoir. That's just a Phillips head screw. So I can pull it out and uh, remove the cap. I pump up the rear brake and then I add some fluid to it. Make sure you have your, your new brake fluid handy because otherwise you gotta put the cap back on so you can go get it. Put the rear of the bike up on the stand and I'm just spinning the rear tire and pressing down on the brake making sure that it's working and getting the pads set into the rotor. Now I'm reinstalling the brake hose hold down bolt. It's just an 8 millimeter. And I'm torquing these rear caliper bolts to 27 newton meters. Now I'm installing safety wire between my caliper bolts. And this is only required on racetracks, but I think it's a good safety precaution for street riders as well. If you guys are interested in seeing a, a video on how I safety wire the motorcycles and you know how I drill out drill out all the bolts, uh, let me know, post a comment, and I'll film that video for you guys. Now I'm putting safety wire on the front caliper. I just run my safety wire through and down to the the second bolt. And then I mark from my first to second bolt location and that's where I apply my pliers and twist up the safety wire. And then I run one strand of wire through my bolt and down, pull it tight, and then I wrap up those wires as well and then cut off the excess. Now I'm measuring the rotors with the uh, micrometer. This is the most accurate way to measure your rotors. And mine are measuring at 196 thousandths of an inch. And I'm just using my calipers to uh, convert that into metric. And it's about five millimeters. And you wanna measure your rotors in multiple locations to make sure that it's wearing evenly. I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching Willow's World of DIY. Until next time.